An arrest has been made in connection to threats made to the Roebling Bridge last week. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Chris Jacobs. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer joins us now to tell us more about the teenager who was arrested, Rachel. Yeah, Chris, we have been following the story closely. Covington police tell us the 14 year old from Michigan is now behind bars. A cybersecurity expert we spoke with hopes this sends a message to anyone trying to test the system. You rarely see anyone caught, much less prosecuted, because so much of this stuff is coming from overseas. So I'm, I'm very happy to see in this case they actually caught someone for a change. Covington police tell us the 14 year old in Michigan was first arrested on an unrelated matter. That teen was later charged in Kenton County with four counts of terroristic threatening. Are they just trying to test the system? You know, are they trying to see where the weak points are? Cybersecurity expert Dave Hatter says this type of threat is concerning. I don't know how else you're going to send a message to people to stop doing this unless you catch people and prosecute them and do it very visibly. NKU Chase College law professor spoke with us as the threats kept coming in last week and says law enforcement treat every call as if it's real. This is a serious thing because it did cause a, a response to have to happen. The, the bridge was shut down um, for a little bit. Responders came out and uh, that you know, caused harms. And I, I'm pretty sure this would, um, would be more than just a joke. It's a serious offense. He's watching closely in court. So there's a, a federal crime of making bomb threats. And if it, if it is serious, it's, it's up to five years or up to $5,000 uh, penalty. There's also a provision in that statute that if it's just someone who's joking, um, then it's a $1,000 fine. Now, because the person charged with this crime is a juvenile, there's not a lot of information police are able to release at this time about the suspect. The FBI in Louisville and Covington also helped arrest the person allegedly behind all of this. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5.